a quick about 20 minute flow that you can do in the mornings. I really enjoy doing some of these postures. It's a nice stretch, a little back bend, a little bit of twist to get you up and get your day going. So we're gonna start in child's pose. Um, if you have yoga blocks at home, this is a really good time to use those. If you don't, you can either grab a big fluffy pillow to use, or you can grab two stacks of books. Um, we're just gonna put our hands right on top of the yoga block at the lowest level. And we're gonna stretch back into child's pose. Toes touch, hips sink towards your heels, and then slowly bring your forehead down to your mat. Your arms are elevated here, so you should feel a nice big stretch across your shoulders, maybe through your upper back, and then down your arms. Begin to connect to your breath here. Feel this stretch. Breathe into this stretch. So wonderful. You can take a few minutes in the morning just for yourself to get your day going, to get yourself started off on the right foot. And with that in mind, go ahead and set a goal for yourself for the day. And this is not a goal of, I want to do the dishes, I want to clean the family room. This is a personal goal. So maybe breathing more through the day or really being connected with your breath throughout the day. Maybe it's a goal of drinking more water throughout the day. Or maybe moving around throughout the day. If you're always sitting at a desk, get up a little more often, move around. Something for yourself that you can commit to for the day. Whatever that is, breathe it in and let it go. Send it into your space. We're gonna begin to flow our child's pose. You can keep the hands on the blocks or you can remove them. Begin to lift your forehead off the mat and just shift forward towards your hands, staying nice and low. And then once you have your chest in between your hands, push up. Let your feet come wide to the edge of your mat or further. And then lift up. I like to do it with the blocks. It gives me a little bit more space to work with. And then exhale, sink back towards the heel. Another inhale, shift forward, push up, feet wide. Stretch the chest towards the sky. Breathe it in here. Exhale, sink back. Let's move breath to movement. Inhale, shift forward, lift up. Exhale, sink your hips back. Inhale, shift forward, lift up. Exhale, sink it back. If you've been using the blocks, go ahead and remove those, then off to the side, and let's try it out the block. Inhale, shift forward, lift up, feet wide. Exhale, toes to touch, hips back one more time. Inhale. Exhale. This time we're going to lift the toes. Inhale, shift forward. Lift the toes up. Exhale, back bend. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come to a tabletop. Just for a moment. It's a little transition. Set the feet back. Plank pose. Feel your core turn on. Press the mat away. Find space in between your shoulder blades. Inhale here. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in here. Maybe bend one knee and then the other. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk forward. Let your head be heavy. Feel the stretch across your legs, your calves and your hamstrings. 
Inhale, half lift, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to mountain pose, arm overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Keep that long, flat back. Plant the hands down, step back, find plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to your mat. Inhale, cobra, peel your chest up, press the tops of your feet down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your kneecaps, lift. Maybe your hands float off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale through plank or tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Toe to touch. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back through the plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank or tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. The crown of the head points to the mat. Inhale, half lift, it lifts up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, heart center. Press the palms. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back through plank. This time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Shins, knees, thighs lift up off the mat. Heels squeeze together. Exhale, down dog. Breathe here. Find an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, float the right foot up. Just so the leg is parallel to the mat. Reach the heel towards the mat behind you. Inhale. Then exhale, bring it to your right thumb. Step it through. Drop your left heel down. Reach your arms forward. And then come on up. Inhale, warrior one. See if you can get your right knee stacked directly over your right ankle. And as we move through these next warrior poses, see if it can stay there the entire time. Deep breath in here. Exhale, drop your right hand back. Exultant warrior, it's a back bend. Lift your chest up. Breathe it, feel it rise. Your knees stay stacked over your front ankle. Your legs are steady. Breathe in here. Exhale, warrior two, open on up. Pull your hips under your shoulders. So my left hip likes to push out towards the back of my mat. So I have to pull it on under. Deep breath in here. Reach through those fingertips, relax your shoulders. Inhale, reach forward, up and back, reverse. This is a side bend. So all the bending is happening on the left side and there shouldn't be any bend in the back. You can take the bind, left hand to low back or all the way around to your right side and pull it open. Breathe in. Exhale, bring both hands to the mat. Step back into plank and we'll flow. So you can lower all the way to cobra or just lower halfway and then move through up dog. And we'll meet in the down dog. Let's bend our knees look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms to high. This time, exhale, back bend. Half is your arm. Lift the chest up, send the hips forward. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, back bend. Inhale. Exhale, back bend. Get a little deeper. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms high. 
and exhale, fold it forward. Drop the crown of your head, inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back through plank and choose a flow. So you can lower all the way down, lift up through cobra, or you can lower halfway. Find that up dog, we'll meet in down dog. Inhale your left leg up, just parallel to the mat, it's not too high. Exhale, foot to left thumb. Drop the right heel, reach the arms forward. Inhale, warrior one. Same thing on this side. Left knee is stacking over the left ankle. And your right pinky is pressing into the mat. So is your left big toe, or your right big toe. Breathe in here. See if you can pull your tailbone down behind you. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop your left arm down. Reach up. You can drop the left arm to the right leg. Just avoid pressure on the knee. Find that back bend. Inhale. Exhale. Another inhale here. Exhale, open up for your two. Take up space. And then notice the hips. Do you need to pull the hips underneath the shoulders? Deep breath in here. Reach as long as you can. You're trying to touch each end of the room. Exhale. Inhale, reach forward, up and back, reverse. Stay strong in your low body. Find that bind either on your low back or all the way around to your left leg. Pull the left thigh open. Side bend here. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Let's step back through plank and flow. Breathe. What's that goal you set for yourself today? Keep it front of mind. Make it part of your practice so you can make it part of your day. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, keep the arms high overhead. Exhale, right arm under the left. Inhale, back bend a few arms. Exhale. Take another inhale. 
Exhale, drop your knees to the mat. Bring them hip width distance. We're gonna move through two rounds of camel. So hands are gonna come to our low back, thumbs out, fingertips down, and then squeeze those elbows together. Send your hips forward, inhale, lift your chest. Begin to look behind you. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring your hands to your ankles or your heels. Keep pressing your hips forward. Lifting your chest up. Slowly come out of it the same way you came in. Sit back on heels. Hands to your thighs. One more time. Lift up. Hands to low back. Squeeze. Inhale. Lift. And look back. Two rounds of breath right here. And then as you're ready, slowly lift out. Bring the knees to touch, separate the heels, sit back into hero's pose. Hands can come to your thighs. Palms up to receive a little energy for the day. Palms down to meet your ground. Begin to lift back up onto your knees. And we'll just bring our legs out in front of us. And stay with your legs long on your mat. I'm going to face you. So bring your right knee up and in towards your chest. And then your right foot up and over. We're going to find a twist. So we'll inhale our left arm up. Exhale, twist it over. Use the right arm to help you sit up nice and tall, so gentle on the fingertips, but it helps you lift. If it feels okay, you can bend your left knee, bring your left foot towards your glute. As we sit here, inhale, get a little taller through your spine. And then exhale, twist a little more. As you inhale and grow taller, notice if your hips begin to shift forward and there's a slight curve in your back. Can you pull your hips so they're directly under your shoulders? Just a tiny bit more each exhale. slowly untwist, come back to center. Bring the left leg long if it's not already there. Come we'll back out of it the same way we came into it. Bring your left knee in, and then left foot up and over. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, find that twist. This time use the left fingertips to lift you up and away from the earth. And then if you did on the other side, you can bend the right foot in towards your glute. Deep, deep breaths here. So you can twist a tad bit more each time. It may not be a noticeable movement, but it's something that you can feel. Down. 
slowly come back up to your seat. And we're just gonna find a comfortable seat. So I like half lotus. So if you wanna take half lotus with me, you're gonna just crisscross applesauce. And then you can pick your left foot or your right foot. That foot's just gonna come on top of the opposite side. So that the top, the bottom of your foot is facing towards the sky. It's just a comfortable place that I like to sit in. Maybe you'll like it too. But you can take whatever position is good for you. I want to meditate here in a seat because we are starting our day. So I want us to maintain a little bit of the energy that we've built up. But I also want to take some time to meditate at the end of our practice. So go ahead and close down your eyes. Bring your hands to a place that's comfortable for you. Like my palms up on my thighs at the beginning of the day, just to receive a little more energy. Let your sit bones root down. Let your spine be long. And the crown of your head reach toward the sky. Breathe here. Deepen your breath. Come back to the goal, the intention you set for yourself for your day. Breathe it into your body. Breathe it out into your space. Beautiful day. 